Advocates, Partners, Partners Association, Executives, Press and Media. Good morning to all of you. Today, one of the sessions of the National Academy of Medical Sciences, Honorable President of the Primes of India, made a very critical observation that transfer of technology is not happening across the country as it should have been resulting in the poor productivity and the poor standard of living of the farming community. That's one critical point. Secondly, there is a larger criticism from all the quarters, moving large across the country, that there is a wider technological, the wider yield gap, even within the village, among the quarters, between blocks, between districts, between states in India, a particular crop. This is one of the two serious critical counts. One is TOT is not that much effective to take the technology to the very planted. The second is the yield gap is widening year after year. The team, IKP, IFRI and TNA, consulted farmers, farmers associations, the extension workers, the scientists and all the stakeholders to find out the reason and how to address these two critical issues. The outcome was something startling, but there is no other go, we will not accept it. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong when pronouncing it, that is the era of mass extension has come to a close. The demand is more for farm specific, individual farm holding specific, farmer specific, timely intervention with technology. So from mass extension to individual field extension, field specific extension, the, the, the shift is almost 180 degrees for which no stakeholder is prepared. Say in an individual farm, the crop residue of the previous crop is entirely different from field to field, from farm to farm. The microbial load, it is again totally varied. The soil organic carbon level, again it is totally a varied factor. Above all, the capacity of the farmers to manage the farm resources, to manage the input, to manage the technology, it is totally uneven. So that is why, unless we provide individual <coughs> farm specific technology intervention and instant advisory, nothing could be transacted in the extension front. That is the hard reality. So we thought of developing a repository first, and then resort to PC mode, computer mode to begin with, to reach the extension personnel, and then in the long run, the mobile platform to reach the farmers direct. That is, that is the backdrop of this development of this portal. Just like this. How it is unique? There are so many portals available, so many websites available. If you get into the net, the list is unending. How this person portal is unique in every sense. Say all other portals are administrated by one agency, providing a compartmentalized information on each. Maybe one may be on the marketing, one may be on the production, one may be on the inputs, one may be on the statistics. But what we have developed is a comprehensive portal which is almost uh, um, uh, customized for use of the farmers direct. Earlier, we have set the tone on this mode through an uh, agri-snet portal, the second layer, TNIO architect portal. Those two portals are state specific, whereas this uh, advanced agri practice, the person portal, it is block specific. And another level down, 
another uh, micro level approach we have learned it in this uh, portal that is uniqueness of this portal. Next slide. Then, what are the other key features? The one is the knowledge integration. The knowledge it is available globally, nationally, and locally. So, the SRI was a technology from Madagascar. It's a global technology. We have brought it to our partners. Equally, the rat control method of the tangible belt may be a good technology for uh, farmers of Punjab or farmers of Vietnam. Then, the person of rice variety, the short duration variety, quite fit for the Kurva season. We have, we have got it from the National Institute and brought it to the local farmers at uh, Tanjung. Then, as uh, APC has pointed it out, the farmers first of all, the tradition, the wisdom of the farmers for the generations got accumulated and they have fine-tuned many other technologies to suit the local needs of the farming community. So, such a technology, when scientifically validated, it would be of better use for the national level as well as global level. So, the second unique feature is the integration of global level, national level and local level knowledge. Next slide. <coughs> Unlike any other portals and websites, wherein the information update is over a period of time, maybe a quarterly, maybe half yearly, uh, maybe the softest time, maybe a week basis. But in this case, it is a dynamic process all through 24 hours because the contributors are not the approved status alone. All the stakeholders across the globe. They can share their experience, they can share the information at the reach and every other second it is being updated, the information is being added because the platform is Wikipedia platform. Of course, all the information they put, they are properly authenticated and validated and examined before it is made visible in the uh, portal. This dynamic nature why we have introduced is the portal is not meant for a particular state. In future, it is going to be scaled up to national level and global level. It is going to be a global portal because the E3, the international policy making body, is interested in making this information made available to the global agricultural community. So that is our distant target. That's why. Wikipedia board we have taken and the inflow from all corners of the world it is going to enrich it over uh, all the time. Next. Say so here <coughs> the cut of the church, the dynamic content editing, the contribution to history and all, uh, Dr. Ambassador will be explaining the technical part of it. It is all the navigation friendly, it's all consumer friendly. Any farmer knowing a pretty good English can make use of this portal, add, edit, delete, and, and anyway it is very just user friendly uh, material. Next. Say so, the whole flow, if you take it, the inputs from the National Agricultural uh, Research Mechanism as well as International Agricultural Research Mechanism are scouted and then put it into the portal. And all the players, all the players uh, right from the press and media up to the resource farmers, everybody is involved, nobody is eliminated, and the content updation, elimination, editing, refining process, it, it, is, it, is, it is holistic. Then, <coughs> first place, hardly 5% of the farmers are computer savvy, the rest of the farmers, they may not be able to use the computers. But, there are new initiatives. The government is giving laptop to try for the plus two students and college students and in every house, every family there is going to be a computer um, available. Only thing is the issue of the connectivity and that will be taken care of uh, in no longer time. And the common service centers, the government of India is planning a big government program, uh, of course, the uh, institutional government is going to make use of it. 
And to begin with, the portal is meant for the instruction officials. At the course of time, it will be 100% uh, usable by the farming community. Next. Say, <coughs> the person template, what you have done is the information related to all blocks of two districts, Tiruvalu and Pajavu districts. It is not only crop cultivation information alone, but its whole ambience and the social aspects and all the developmental forces that is available working at grassroots level at the community, the whole, whole scenario has been taken and then it has been put into uh, the portal. Say, what is the soil series of a particular Manila block? It is available. What is the water source? What is the water quality? It is available. What is the macroclimate and microclimate? It is available. Who are all the input suppliers? Who are all the traders, dealers? The information is available. Who are all the other agencies, NGOs, farmers, association available that we have decided? So it, it, is a, it is a holistic scouting of information and then after authentication, the whole thing is made available. It's only a template, it's only a beginning. So when the first template is made, then it is very easy to replicate very good number of blocks across the country so that it becomes national in its um, character. And then <coughs> in future it is going to be global. <coughs> so the Tanju and Tilwar district, it is predominantly monocropped area. The paddy is the dominating crop. The rest of the crops like coconut, pulses, banana, and love, it is all very much minor in importance. Whereas, the districts with which we are working right now for this year, 2012 and 13, Namakal and Salem, apart from the crop system, we have the wealth of animal husbandry, of poultry industries, and all agro-based industries. Real, the social engineering, it is being done through the KEK of uh, Namakal. They organize the farmers in the different central <coughs> groups and they are really, they are being empowered. So compared to the earlier two districts, here the content is going to be multifaceted and the layout needs to be designed in a somewhat uh, a different dimension to accommodate all the data. Next slide. Then, northern part of India, the eastern part of India, the middle part of India, the same way, the institutions are to be involved, the IPP and the free will work in all the states in India by identifying the suitable crops and suitable institutions and then update this portal and on completion of that, it will become really a national portal covering all major commercial crops of this country. And then, in the next phase, it is going to be global. Global in the sense only the tropical agriculture alone is being considered, not the temperate agriculture. The temperate agriculture is entirely different. In the temperate agriculture, six months in a year, the soil is under snow, the crop is under rest, the soil is under rest, the cut system is entirely different, and the soil formative process is also dead slow, and that is why for miles to there you will get one, one kind of soil, one kind of profile, one kind of uh, system. Whereas in the tropics, Every other kilometer, the profile is different. The depth is different. Physical and chemical characters are different. So the problems are equally different. So that's why the outlook of the portal is just to honor the farming community of the tropical wealth of the globe. Next. Ultimately, <coughs> as I rightly pointed out by our APC, the handheld device, it may be mobile phone, it may be <coughs> any other material, unless the entire repository is converted in such a manner, so that every farmer can have an access to any of the text, video or image, or on demand if it is delivered wherever he is, then our mission will not get completed. So whatever we develop for the computer platform right now, 
in future it will be modified, it will be retreated, it will be represented to suit the handheld mobile phone platform system. Say, for it, again, the timeliness, the time element. If I got a problem today, if I get the right information, right input today, then I will be able to address that particular issue in my form and my product will be ensured. If I delay it for a day, then my loss may be 10 to 20 percent. So the timeliness, the instantness, and the interactiveness of the information flow, we have taken care in this portal. What we have done is only the first step to develop the template. Then the content needs to build up. So five years from now, it is going to be a holistic global portal. And from any corner of the world, in the tropical region of the world, any farmer can derive any particular technology and information at the touch of the button. So towards that, we all are moving and we need the support of the government and the international policy making bodies like IFRI and the financial institutions like IKP. And with this, I close uh, my session of uh, this presentation. Thank you.